All right, guys, let's check out these SKX Mod. I know we're looking at Casio World Timers, but the company is called SKX Mod. When you buy the parts, they send them over in these nice little boxes, and inside you'll have everything you need. Um, there'll be a bunch of screwdrivers, the gaskets, the screws, the for the case, the case will be in there, whatever you ordered, right? Or the straps. Um, in this case, what they've sent over, they've uh, sent over for me to video, is the new FKM rubber strap, so that's why you see all the colors. And then there are some cases here that are stainless steel. There's one bronze one. They all have sapphire crystals. And you can spec these out. You can actually order them directly from them. And they will, you can get the module and everything. I, it looks like it to me that when you order it, if you spec it out properly, they fully assemble it. So you get a complete watch. And yes, it costs more. Because what is a world timer? A stock world timer is probably like $21 or something now. Um, but, you know, this one looks like a stock one other than the lettering's been removed. But this new FKM rubber strap is so much more comfortable. These are actually pretty comfortable, the stock ones. And these ones look a lot like it, but it's FKM rubber. So it's just so much more pliable and soft and comfortable feeling. Uh, I think the straps are like 50 bucks, but you can get some fun colors. Uh, so if you already have a world timer and you're looking to up the game on it, you can get very creative. So like right here, you can see I, when I took it apart, this is a, this is a stainless steel case with a sapphire crystal, but that uh, face plate that's underneath there, which you can order face plates from SKX Mod too. This is a stock face plate here, except for I cut out some of these filters. They're called filters and they're for like just lights, different light filters and stuff. So you can get these, um, swatches this is just a sample of all the different filters i think i bought it on ebay or something you can see here where i cut out a little bit so you cut out these little pieces and then you carefully glue them on the back side of these face plates and uh and then you put it you know trim it up make sure everything's good and you can get very creative with the colors um i think i have another one here so i have one here that i did uh, i'm gonna do more i think it's it's super fun it's cheap i already have the world timers so I'm going to build them out. I'm going to order some more parts from SKX Mods, some different cases. Like this one's a polished case with a black bezel. You can just spe spec it out however you want. Like this one's a, a full polished bezel and case. And in this case, this is going to a buddy of mine. He wanted it kept clean. He didn't want any colors added in the faceplate. And then he said he liked the red strap. I think that it's, it's clean. It just looks cool. You know, you can do some complementary colors. You got the yellow here, yellow there. I like this one. I like the horn strap. They even say SKX Mod on the molding on the back. Nice hardware. You can go with the brushed stainless or you can go with the black. Like here's one, the vibrant green with the black hardware. This is just on a stock world timer. Here's the bronze one, the bronze case. The other thing you can do, you can order with or without the engraving. And this one's gonna patina. It's already shown a little bit of patina. If I zoom in, you might already see a little bit going on there. So I'm excited to, almost like irony, right? Like it's a digital watch and then it's in bronze and it's gonna patina. I think you can even spec out different color uh, pushers because in the case, on these cases, it's super, super fast and easy. Like you don't have to, one of the old cases I did from a different company, I had to like pull out the buttons and the spring and everything and put them in, which I enjoy doing, but it can be a pain in the butt for other people. This one's fully assembled. So all you have to do is like pop your module out, put the face plate in the new case, and then put the module in. And, and then you put the new gasket and you put the back plate on and you use the provided screws, which are a little bit shorter than the stock ones. Nice hardware and they give you the, the screwdrivers to do it. And you just screw it down and you're good to go. And then put a different FKM rubber strap or something on there. I think it's it's too fun, guys. It's you know, and then you could miss and mix and match too if you wanted to, different colors with the straps. That's a little bold. I mean, I think we're already going a little bold with some of these. This blue looks really good. I think this blue would look good with a full polish case, and then maybe do some blue in the panels. 
So I'm gonna do some builds coming up, um, use some more of my Lee filters, have some fun, get some different base plates. They have some fun base plates and everything too. But um, I wore this watch, I didn't have this strap, these are new. And then my son wore this watch when we went to the Worn and Wound windup show in New York. And legit, people were commenting more on his because this one looks stock, kinda. For most people, they don't really realize that they don't make them like this. But um, this one, you could tell it was not a stock world timer. And he got comments. Like, people are like, oh, that's really cool. So I think a lot of people don't know that SKX Mod is doing these cases and these mods available for these. So hopefully I can get the word out there a little bit because it's too fun. They're, they're cool. And I know as watch enthusiasts, we're always looking for ways to, to take affordable watches and turn them into overly priced expensive watches, right? That's what a lot of us do with those SKX mods that we used to build or still do. Um, now you can do it with your world timers too. And it has heft, it has weight to it. They have bracelets. So if you wanna put a, a nice, like not the cheap chintzy ones that like Casio includes with theirs, but they have like nice heavy duty bracelets that go with them. Um, like I said, the face plates, the F-camera rubber straps, they have, now they have canvas straps. Their cases are all IP coated with uh, uh, a transparent coating that adds a little more scratch resistant to it. So it is, um, I think it's like 800, 600 or 800 uh, Vickers scratch resistant. So you'll have that additionally. And then of course the Sapphire Crystal guys. So I don't know, let me know what you think. I think it's super fun. It's still kind of affordable because most of the parts are like 150 or less or if you do a full spec build or something let me know what you think and if you have any ideas for a build a special colorway or something uh, let me know what you think uh, I should try there's a bunch of I like doing some of the bold colors but I haven't messed around with like some of the pinks and stuff that could be kind of fun I could do uh, a, a full pink build or something on one of the polish cases would look kind of cool and I'm not sure what really goes good with the bronze I'm thinking just green and bronze I tried the blue strap but I think green might look better so anyway guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video